It's Monday morning, guys. I'm at the doctor. <laughs> the bagel doctor, Wes. Let's go in here and let me get my favorite bagel. Open at 5 o'clock. Boy, they get an early start, don't they? Sesame seed bagel toasted with our vegetable cream cheese. It took you so long. Every day, I come by going. Yeah. Tell somebody to buy. Wow. Coffee? Sir, I don't know. I'm going to go there. You say he left. I really prefer there. It's in the house. Okay. Which number? I'm good, how are you? No. Vegetable cream cheese. The Godfather, hot roast beef, melted mozzarella. Guys, I'm home with my not toasted bagel. Did y'all hear me order it toasted? Sesame seed bagel toasted with vegetable cream cheese. That is not toasted. You know, I think they did this to me last time. I don't I don't think she toasted it. Next time I have to I'm gonna order it burnt. And then maybe she will at least toast it. Anyway, it's got way too much cream cheese on it, but I, I did take some of it off. Just way too much. But I'm going to eat it. <laughs> it's still better than anything I can get in New Jersey. It's good. Jill doesn't like a lot of bread, so she orders. See, even if I took out a lot of the cream cheese, it's still oozing out. <laughs> Jill doesn't like a lot of bread. Y'all, this is how much I scooped out of it. I'll save that for tomorrow and make me a... I could pick me up a bagel and make it myself with that. Anyway, Jill doesn't like a lot of bread, so she orders hers gutted and toasted. So they will, you know, scoop the, some of the bread out of it and toast it. And it's really good that way. But I tried ordering one like that in New Jersey and they looked at me like I had lost my mind. So I don't know if that's a way to order bagels or not, or if it was just Jill's way. But I just want to um, tell y'all how much I appreciate you watching my videos over the weekend. I had so much fun making the videos for y'all. Um, talking to all of Jill's neighbors and, and friends and our family who, who were here for the baptism. Um, I was very lucky that Jill was willing to go on camera and, and make a video for y'all. Um, she doesn't care to, to be on social media. 
and uh, I did respect her wishes and and not um, I videotaped the baptism, but it's just for our private family viewing. But um, let's see, I wrote the figures down, y'all. Um, since Friday, I got um, 33,670 views. <laughs> and then for um, Saturday, sun Saturday, Sunday, let's see, it was Friday through Monday, 33,670. And then if I just count the three-day three, three day weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, just um, 130 short of 30,000. So that's just amazing, y'all, that 30,000 people watch, um, that I had 30,000 views on my videos. I don't know how many I did all together, five or six. But y'all, I'm just a little country girl from Mississippi and never really amounted to anything in my life. And to think that I can have a, a YouTube channel where I can just tell y'all some old stories of, about growing up in South Mississippi and all the struggles and trials and hardships that I had. Um, you know, just marrying the first guy that asked me to marry him right out of high school to, to get away from Dort and Lamar and being unhappy and disgusted with little Scotty and his faux fine habit and all the other things that, that he did that were disgusting. And then jumping out of that uh, frying pan into the fire by marrying an alcoholic. Um, now, you know, I was in, very much in love with John. I mean, I, I just fell in love with him head over heels in love and, um, and he the same way with me. So, like I said, the 20 years that we were married, um, I would say the good times outweighed the bad. Although it, um, you know, having three children and struggling to try to keep food on the table and clothes on their backs and a roof over their head. And you um, men and women out there who have an alcoholic spouse, you know how difficult it is um, trying to to make it day to day with an alcoholic and never knowing if they're gonna be sober or drunk the next day or or be sober or drunk by the time nightfall comes and just what your day is gonna be like. It is very unpredictable and um, very frightening. But I am gonna pick up with all of my storytelling. Let's see, I got past, um, my last real life story was um, when I was talking about the birth of Jill and how John disappeared and ended up at the bar handing out cigars and everything. So we did bring Jill home. And, um, you know, I told y'all John had not worked the whole nine months that I was pregnant with her, that I did the babysitting, and that was how we paid our bills. But right before Jill was born, um, John had an interview with a company out of, here out of uh, New York called METCO. M-E-T-C-O, and that stood for Metalizing Company, and um, I don't know if I can explain it, but it, it was some type, and they may still be in business, I don't know, this was in 1981, but um, what it is, they, they make this machinery, and um, you, they put this powder in the machinery, and it sprays out a metal coating, so, you know, they were looking for a field engineer to sell this product, and demonstrate it and teach people how to use it and um being in louisiana it was you know a, a highly um sought after product to um to coat ships and things like that to keep them from corroding and the ones that had corrosion on them uh, they could you know spray this metal coating on them so john had interviewed for that job and with the district manager whose name was don sellers well don was a uh, a jokester and and so is John so they just hit it off and Don hired John for that job and in 1981 it paid 40,000 a year plus commission so that that was really really good money and um y'all we were so fortunate that that John got that job so things got better for us and um we were able to pay the hospital bill after Jill was born and we were able to get caught up on our mortgage payments and our car payments, and so life all started getting better for us. 
So I'll pick up with my stories and let y'all know how it was raising baby Jill and uh, all the wonders and blessings that she brought to our family. Uh, just like I see baby Ife bringing to our family today. Y'all, she is so adorable. She's got her two, two little teeth and her two little top teeth. And they don't really seem to be bothering her. She is just such a content and happy baby. And it's marvelous to see that. So um, I decided to stay here on Long Island today and I'll do Jill's laundry and just help her get caught up and, and feel less stressed. So I'll go ahead and post this video and now I'm going to um, eat my bagel. And I just hope y'all have a wonderful day. And I am going to go by the 99 cent store and look for those um, Chinese slippers. A couple of, of my women viewers have asked for a pair of them. So I'll go get those. And um, now I'll leave my email in the description so you have to email me um, your address. So um, I'm going to let you go now and eat my bagel from um, the Dr. Bagel West. <laughs> Y'all please share my videos and let's get my sus subscriber count back up to 21,000. Um, a lot of the subscribers who uh, subbed to me back in February and the ones that didn't come back and, and watch uh, YouTube is slowly deleting those because that's uh, YouTube's um, safety precaution to keep people from buying subs and overinflating their sub count. So I do understand that and I do expect them to continue to drop. And that's okay. I have a very good sub base of all people, all of y'all who love me and support me a thousand percent. And I want you to know that I love you and I think about you every day. I pray for you every day. And I just want y'all to be happy, keep your chin up, and um, y'all just keep on coming back. I love you. Bye.